my name is Karina and welcome to my channel Life's Little Things. I just recently got Invisalign and I had done a video on that. I will have it linked below. But today I'm going to talk to you about my second appointment and them putting on the fittings on my teeth. If you want to hear how that went, come along. things on your teeth or on my teeth so um, they had talked about having to uh, make room on the bottom of my teeth and they had to um, I knew going in that they were going to have to file some of my teeth off to give me some room because I had um, a little bit of crowding going on on the bottom of my teeth so I got there and they um, were getting me ready, and um, they were putting the paper thing on me, and they were showing me this little video on a screen of what the file, what it would be like, and it was pretty cool, but I mean, I already basically knew. So um, while all that was going on, they put um, numbing in the bottom of my mouth on two long um, Q-tips, and numbed up my mouth really well and um, that was almost immediate that numbing in my mouth it was it's a very it was a very potent one they did not have to give me shots or anything like that they just used the numbing gel and so the doctor came in and he started you know filing down my teeth and then um, when he would be done filing, he would have to like, almost like it was like a sandpaper um, to get, you know, the edges, rough edges off of it and stuff. So once he was done, he was good. He left. The doctor did. So then the nurse come over and she started prepping my teeth to get the um, attachments on. And they had to polish my teeth. Um, they used like this soap that tasted to me a, like a really very strong lime flavor um, from what I could taste. I mean, my mouth was really numb at this point. Um, and then they, um, you know, dried them off really well and started the process of sticking stuff on there with uh, glue. One of them were, was given her problems and it wouldn't stay because they would have me put the Invisalign on or they would put the Invisalign on and then take it off and the one kept popping off with it. So the head nurse, she came in and she took over because she was mean in business and, um, and she came in and she filed down my tooth and um, where all that glue was. And um, because it was just had a rough surface from all the glue that the girl kept trying to restick that piece back on. So she filed all that glue off and um, got it to stick. Well, they put it on there and then they use that little light and they shine it on there. Then they put the invis light on and they shine the light. I mean, it's a process. It doesn't hurt. It's the only, oh, and they had a mouthpiece in my mouth to make my mouth really, really open wide. You can't talk during that, of course, so. Um, and then they, you know, were rinsing my mouth and doing all that stuff. And um, that was it. I mean, they, they gave me the Invisalign, told me to put them on and take them off a few times. And what you have to do is you have to go to the very back and wiggle it like this. And it starts slowly popping off. And you can hear them. It's like pop, 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 pop. And then you come in your top and you go like, you know, take your finger nails and you wiggle and it's just pop, 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 pop and it pops right off and pops out. Um, the tray does. It is rough on your fingernails. Um, if you wear nail polish and stuff, it's, you know, chips away at your nail polish. <laughs> I mean, it just does. Then they told me to um, 
that I won't have to be back for seven weeks. I said in another, I had to wear the, the one tray for two weeks and then I switched them out and I put another tray in and they sent me home with three of them, which I have my one in right now. And I have to put them in every two weeks. So, um, and these ones, they fit tight, but I'm not in any like excruciating pain or anything like that. I mean, it does fit tight. You do have pressure. You do have tenderness and you do have some pain, but it's not excruciating or anything like that so far. So I hope that that's the way that it moves. It's just little by little and not just like crazy bad, you know? So I came home and um, I was just really having trouble, you know, with the trays, getting the trays out. And I looked it up and some dentists will give you little hooks and um, you can pop them off with little hooks. Well, Jay went on Amazon and he looked it up and um, you can buy two little, they're called retainer retrievers and they're not very expensive and it's just two teeny tiny little white plastic hooks and you put them in there and just wiggle it and it pops out and then same thing wiggle 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 pop out instead of having to use your nails so if you have Invisalign you're having problems with that check out these retainer retrievers on Amazon because they are not expensive and you can do that to use these. They're just a simple white plastic hook. That's it. Okay, um, also after um, I had got all that work done, my um, mouth was pretty sore just from the work. Um, I ended up getting a canker sore in the bottom of my mouth which I knew I was going to because that numbing agent was so strong that I, it it just numbed it and like the next day it I had like white stuff on my lips and I could just peel it right off my lips and stuff it was just it was gross but I mean it, it was I didn't have sores in my mouth but I did end up getting a canker sore and I know that it was caused from the numbing agent I just do because that's exactly where it was sitting on the cotton swab and as strong as it was I just knew I was going to get a canker sore so I rinsed with um it's called Colgate Proxel and um if your teeth are sore your gums you have a cold sore get colgate proxel you can get it at walmart walgreens rite aid anywhere like that and rinse your mouth probably about three to four times a day and it will be gone within a couple days so that's what i did i am can i looked it up and it said that i can use a battery operated toothbrush so i am using my battery operated toothbrush which is an electric toothbrush and um, it hits fine. You just continue to use that. I do floss between my teeth. Um, you know, cause when they come out, you just have the attachments on your teeth. So it says you can eat whatever you want after the trays are out of your mouth. I don't just because sometimes my teeth are sensitive. I mean, they're tender, you know, cause they're moving. Um, Plus, I really don't want to knock off one of those um, attachments just because I don't want to have to go back in and do it. So I try to stay away from real hard things. You know, I don't chew gum. I don't do anything like that because the majority of the time you've got to wear these trays. And they tell you to wear them about 22 hours a day. So, um, yeah, you do definitely always want to brush, floss everything in between every time you eat or drink anything you take the trays out eat drink you brush or fl and floss but I also ended up we got this it's a water pick and this is a um, it does not have a plug to plug into the wall it's battery operated water pick and this is really good too um, so that I don't have to constantly be brushing all the time or I have had stuff get stuck in the like an herb or something will get stuck in the um, attachment on my tooth and this helps get it out too and my toothbrush my battery operated toothbrush helps get it out so yeah this is something to have too also um, I wanted to tell you that you need you will probably find that you will need to be sipping out water almost all the time 
For me, they make my mouth very dry and my lips dry, and I wear um, chapstick on my lips, and I'm always sipping on water. Even when I go away, I take a travel mug of water, and I am drinking water just because they really make your mouth dry. You are either really dry or you're like spitting as you talk. You're just like ping, ping, you know, it's like, oh my goodness, you know? <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. Did I spit on you? <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah, you definitely want to keep something just so that you can sip on it um, while you are out and about or at the house or wherever. Um, and, and like I said, when the trays are in, you only drink water. After you take the trays out, you can have whatever, pop, tea, whatever, coffee, all that. But then make sure that you brush and floss and rinse and stuff. Plus you wanna keep brushing your trays too. I brush them, the trays too, cause I don't want them getting dirty and germy. Okay, I hope that if you are looking into Invisalign, I hope that this has helped you. Oh, I know. Also, um, I'm assuming that I'm getting 23 trays. It says like one of 23 on my package and stuff like that. So I'm assuming 23. I was never really told. So um, we'll see how it goes. If I need all 23 of the trays or if I don't, I don't know. But um, yeah, if you're looking into Invisalign or if you have Invisalign or um, just curious about what's going on with my Invisalign, um, I hope that this helped answer some of your questions and if I missed something and I didn't answer something, please leave the question in messages down below and I will get back to you and I will discuss it with you or answer your question or whatever. Um, so yeah, that is so far what's going on. Like I said, I'm just going to start switching them out every two weeks here at home and then I go back in and they had said that. I might possibly have some more teeth that as they move, I might have to have some more shaved. But the doctor was like, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Let's see how they do, and, and then we'll just go from there. So, which I'm happy about that. I'm happy he didn't just shave them all, you know, and I didn't need it. <laughs> so, okay. It's going good so far. I'm pleased with it. I am really happy I'm not in tremendous pain. And, um... It's really not that bad, definitely. It, it really isn't bad. The only hard thing to learn is to talk with them in. And your asses do not sound like asses. <laughs> they just, they just don't. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will talk to you later. Have a